This is Loch Nadavi on the Isle of Arran. This remote loch is known to have the purest water in Scotland. It rises from a spring and flows over cleansing red granite, eventually reaching the natural amphitheater of Lacranza, the home of the Arran single malt. The Isle of Arran is a hidden oasis 60 kilometers southwest of Glasgow. Rugged mountains lie like a sleeping warrior. The waters sweep through the lush interior out into the mild seas of the Gulf Stream. The hills and glens have been inhabited since the Neolithic period. Vikings conquered, kings ruled, and generations passed. The water of life first appeared in the 18th century, illegally produced by opportunists dodging high taxes. Many died in bloody conflict. Many drowned smuggling their wares to the mainland. But like us, they'd been tempted by the quality of the water and soft sea air. Perfect for maturation. We built the distillery over one year. Progress briefly delayed by two nesting eagles. At the grand opening, the eagles performed a fly past. A lucky omen for the birth of a new taste and Aaron's first distillery in more than 150 years. Our focus is simple. Produce the finest Scotch whiskey with the purest of methods. Meet distillery manager James McTaggart. Every day he patrols the floor, looking, nosing, recording. To become a good whisky distiller, it's experience. And most of the things you come across, the, the aromas and things you get in whisky, remind you of your childhood. Smells that used to be in your kitchen, your home kitchen. Making whisky is actually quite a simple operation. You've got water, you get a very good malted barley, and you've got yeast. And there's no point in having good ingredients unless you have good men to do it. Prepared to our specifications, the malted barley is ground into grist then mashed with a series of waters to create wort. Yeast is added, and handcrafted washbacks of Oregon pine ferment the sweet portion. Then it's over to the giant stills to coax the alcoholic vapors from the bubbling liquid. In the yard, our cooper prepares the casks. We use American bourbon barrels. We use sherry hogsheads, which is, which is the Spanish oak, and we use some wine casks, which have got French oak. Within half an hour, the low wines appear. They are collected and mixed with the faints of the previous distillation, and the process is repeated. Double distilled to create an intoxicating consistency. Liter upon liter of spirit, barreled, sealed, weighed, shot away for a decade. But hogsheads, barrels, casks for princes, casks for stars, thousands at a time, resting, breathing, maturing. A little is lost through evaporation, the angel share. There are some very happy angels at Lochranza. The whiskey's sitting there and every cask is different, so it's up to you to get the right recipe of cask together to produce the, the, the best iron single malt. Only when our malt is ready is it transported to the mainland. Bottled, non-chill filtered to preserve every drop of flavor. At the back of the iron malt is a very spicy, probably slightly peppery taste. A sort of apple plum and there's a slight dark chocolate there. But that's what I'm finding in it, that other people find these things different themselves. Our 10-year-old, cask strength 12-year-old, and full-bodied 14-year-old, Machri Moore, the Peter Darren, 
Aaron Gold, a cream liqueur. The official whiskeys of our national port. Cask finishes of Port, Amaroni, and Sultan. And our premium single cask selection. By warm fires and in modern cities, our award-winning brand is shared and savored throughout the evening, throughout the world. Back at Lochranza, the cycle continues. Grind, mash, ferment, distill, long into the day, deep into the night. As long as the waters of Loch Nadavi continue to flow, so will our spirit. Thank you.